Today we're taking a look at the Trendelenburg Gate. What it is, why it happens, and then a few easy tricks to remember all the little details. So to start off with, a Trendelenburg Gate is an abnormal gait pattern that's characterized by a pronounced hip drop. And the main cause of a Trendelenburg Gate is weak hip abductor muscles, specifically the gluteus medius and gluteus minimus muscles. So let's take a look at how this hip drop happens all together. So let's take a look at our model here. This is the posterior aspect of the pelvis. Right here we have a representation of the gluteus medius and minimus muscles, the ones we're talking about. They run from the greater trochanter of the femur all the way to the ilium. And their job basically in an open chain format, so if the foot is free to move, they can abduct the hip like so. If the foot is locked to the ground in a closed chain position, if you can imagine this band getting tighter and contracting, it can pull the ilium over, pull that pelvis uh, over to the right side. And this is important because when we're swinging through, for example, say if we're swinging our left leg through, obviously the right leg will have the entire weight of the body, but there's going to be a lot of gravitational pull on the left side. It's going to want to drop this pelvis down. Gravity is going to try to pull this down. And if this muscle is weak, if these muscles are weak, obviously they really can't do anything about it. You're going to get that hip drop. But imagine if these muscles are real strong, they can kind of pull that pelvis back over and make sure you have a nice horizontal pelvic line, even when the left leg is swinging. And so really it's these weak muscles here, the gluteus medius and minimus muscles. If they're too weak, you're going to get that hip drop every time you swing through. All right. So now that you understand a little bit more about Trendelenburg, let's get into how to remember a few of these details together. So a classic test question you'll see about Trendelenburg is something like this. So they'll give you a patient with a hip drop and then ask you what side you think is affected and what nerve you think is involved. So when it comes to Trendelenburg and you're trying to figure out what side is weak, what side is affected, the word I want you to think about is dropposit. All right, so dropposit, it's a unique word. It's easier to remember. The reason you think about that is because whichever side drops, it's the opposite side that's to blame. It's the weak side. So for example, if the right side drops, it's because the left side is too weak to hold that right side up. So you think of dropposit, you think of that hip drop, and then you remember it's the opposite side that's to blame. Now for the nerve. So the gluteus medius and minimus muscles are innervated by the superior gluteal nerve, while the gluteus maximus muscle is innervated by the inferior gluteal nerve. So they'll usually try to mix those together and try to confuse you. What I want you to do is remember the word IMAX. Okay, so IMAX stands for the I stands for inferior gluteal nerve, and the max, of course, stands for the gluteus maximus. That'll help you keep those tracked together and then you can kind of eliminate those answers from the question. Another good thing is that the glute max is the only muscle innervated by the inferior gluteal nerve. So if you remember IMAX, it might help you down the line as well. All right, so we're almost done, but of course there's a little caveat here. Some people with a Trendelenburg gait, instead of the hip dropping, what they'll do is they'll compensate by lurching their body towards the weak side. This is called a compensated Trendelenburg gait, and what it does is you move the center of gravity over towards the stance leg, and it reduces that other side from dropping. You can remember this with the phrase, you tilt to the guilt. All right, so if I was tilting to the left each time, it's because my left side is weak. All right, so remember, drop it. If the hip drops, it's the opposite side. But if you tilt, you tilt to the guilt. All right, that covers the Trendelenburg gate. Thanks for watching, and of course, good luck on your next test.